Okay, I'm going to start here with a um, triangle on a graph. And um, up in the corner here, I have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I have the Pythagorean theorem. And I think we will all agree that um, a squared, one side here of the, tri the right triangle, plus b squared, the other side of the triangle, is equal to c squared, which is the hypotenuse of this uh, right triangle. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to call this point right here x sub 2, and I'm going to call this point over here x sub 1. And um, we will agree, I'm pretty sure, that a is equal to x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So in this case here, if I'm looking at the actual numbers, um, x sub 2 is uh, 8 and x1 is 1 and um, I'm looking at the points there on the x-axis here. And the distance a is equal to 7. Similarly for b, if I call uh, this distance on this, this on the y over here, I'm going to call this um, y sub 1, and I'm going to go up to here, and I'm going to call this y sub 2. We will agree that b is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1. In this case, 5 minus 1, 4, and then certainly the length of b is, is 4. So if I plug these numbers here into my... Um, Pythagorean theorem, I'm going to have, let's change colors just so that we're clear here. I'm going to have x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared is equal to c squared. I just took my a, my b, I substituted them right here into the Pythagorean theorem, and I wind up with that. And if we take now the, um, the square root of both sides, let's take the square root of this, whoops, sorry about that little two, and I take the square root of this, I'm going to wind up with um, c, that's the square root of c squared, is equal to the square root x2 minus x1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. And we will recognize that as the distance formula. I think everybody's good with that so far. Let's see here. Okay, well, I'm going to do a couple more things right now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change some letters. And I'm going to say, instead of calling this C, I don't want to call it C anymore. I want to call it R. So I'm going to change that to R. And um, my X1... I'm going to change that. I'm just going to arbitrarily change it. I'm going to call that H. And I'm going to call my Y1 K. So all I'm doing here is just changing the, the, the letters of the variable. There's nothing wrong with that. And since now I don't have an X1 and a Y1, I really don't need the little subscripts here on the Y2 or the X. I can just call them X and Y. If I do that, then I'm going to have a different formula here it's going to look like 
R is equal to the square root of x minus h, right, squared. All I've done is I replace my x2 with x. I just changed it over here, and I replaced my x1 with h, which I did right over there, plus y minus k squared. And if you can see where we're going here, what I'm going to do now is I am going to square both sides of this equation. Square that. And I'm going to square that. And I'm going to wind up with, if I can just flip these um, around the other side, I'm going to have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And that is the um, standard form of the equation of a circle. So we, we've managed mathematically to relate the, um, the Pythagorean theorem to both the distance formula, which we already knew, as well as the standard form of the equation of a circle. But just to kind of visualize it a little bit better here, what, I, what I'm doing is I'm going to say that my hk, this point right there, I'm going to fix that. And that's never going to move. And the other thing that's never going to change is the distance r. So the distance r is never going to change. What will change is my um, x and y. But if the distance r doesn't change, what I'm going to end up doing, and my hk doesn't change, I'm going to take this line here that is my r, which used to be my c, and maybe I'll make a new one. Um, since my hk is the same, it would be like that. And if I made another new one um, with a, just a different x and y, it would be like that. And if I made another new one with a different x and y, it would be like that. And although this isn't entirely to scale, maybe you can see what's happening here is that I'm taking my R and I'm just swinging it around because my HK is fixed and my R is the same. And as I swing it around, I am going to make... Well, this is a very poor circle. <laughs> I'm sorry, my center isn't very good and the, the tablet doesn't work that well. But I'm going to make a, uh, a circle. Let me see if I can just kind of play with that a little bit here and... Um, make it so you can see it a little better. That would be a little bit that's a, that would be a little bit more like it. And every single one of these um, R's are going to be the same. They're going to be the same length. So this this R right there, the length of that is the same as what used to be C, as is, that one right there. It's, they're all the same. So I fixed my HK, um, I fixed my R, and I'm just swinging that line around on the axis of the center right here, and I end up with a circle. So that is how the Pythagorean theorem is related to the distance formula, which is related to the standard form of the equation of a circle. Isn't that amazing?